Did you get it? Okay, that's it. <laughs> we know, we know Onyx. Okay. That is not Onyx. Yes, it is, isn't it? Onyx, yeah. Not my Onyx. Yeah, well, your mom had an Onyx. We had an Onyx, and it, it same kind of dog. No, wait, is the dogs? Well, is no. that an Onyx style dog? No, it was a Pomeranian, but he was all black. He was. It's because it was black. Onyx is a color. Yeah. Well, his name's Onyx. Black Onyx. Yeah, Onyx was black. Wait a minute. So all their dogs are called Onyx? No, just that one. They have. Is that this like legal birth certificate name, Onyx? I am so embarrassed. Oh, your mom had one called Onyx. You're saying that's an Onyx dog? No, no, no. Onyx was a Pomeranian. Mom's dog was a Pomeranian, but uh, yeah. that one's name is Onyx. So we have two dogs, and they both named them Onyx. Oh, I'm already wore out. <laughs> hey, let me show you where we're at yeah, today. Yeah, show the dogs. I think that's cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, is it, you see the goat, Randy? Look at the goat. Where's the goat at? Look at him. Look at him on that hillside. Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> Poor Onyx, Onyx. Oh, Our look. Onyx used to do the same now thing. he's choking. Randy, don't choke. You fed him too much. Choking. Too many treats. Randy, Come on. introduce who this is. That's rude. We have intruded on them. We don't know who they are, and this is where they live. We don't know who they are. We've seen it from the side of the road. We said, you know, it's a good place to do a video. So we just pulled in on that. Look at that high dollar truck. That we that we don't drive. That we don't drive and we, we don't, don't do nothing with. We took it from Tom. God. Tom doesn't know it's gone. So, so this is Zach and his wife Gwen. And Zach, how long have you been building for us? I've been going on two years now. Can you see yourself in there? Am I pointing it all right? <laughs> a little lower. A little lower. Oh, there, you go. there we go. Okay. Yep. And Gwen, in yep. over two years? Yep. I think I did about a year with you guys on site. And then the past year I've been off site. God, it seems like it's been longer than that, don't it? Yep. And you all are from Michigan. Correct. You come down here and relocated to East Tennessee. Yep. It's been awesome. And then you got what? How many acres here? Eight and a half. Eight and a half acres. And that's what they're clearing down there because Gwen says, I want a herd of horses. And so Zach has are you to honor. Eat the horses? Yep. So Zach has to honor her wishes. How about a herd? But, you know. What a herd. <laughs> and look at those mountains, man. That is so gorgeous up there. Are you supposed to? Herd of horses? Isn't it a herd of goats? And what's a? I think it's a herd. Is it a herd of horses? It's a herd, man. Okay. Herd I'm of. Look it up. Big hoofed animals. Wild horse. Dang. Yeah. It's a herd. And you got all these pups. Oh, they're Randy, so cool. Randy, look at that goat. They can climb up the side. I mean, he's everything. on the side of the hill. Yep. Look at him take it. He's... And there's one up there. Those are windows. Yeah, it's it. Look at him wagging. I mean, he's oh. on the side, man. That is I'm cool. I think about getting one of those big goats. Now, sure when, <laughs> now yeah. when Zach was, when you guys got here, um, they had a tiny home that he brought down from Michigan. He built, and that's where they lived. And he just sold it about a month ago or so. Yeah. Yep. And then you guys now have gotten this building that's got tarps on the side. I love this because <laughs> you guys are making it happen with what you got, and you're you're I'm only spending the fun. money that you get and making it as you go, right? Got the barn up, we're like, well, we'll just get by until we get the next phase ready. Yeah, exactly. And you're living up in this barn right now. Right now. Yeah, it's in the, the words of building an apartment up there. Managed to frame out oh, everything. Oh, so yep. hot yesterday. Just I mean, it was right miserable now. hot. I thought so this, he builds oh, our cool. tiny homes in here, which with this one right here is Rubino. Yep. And it's our Abingdon style with a porch on the back. And him and I are going over some prints and stuff. But he's made places for all the wood. You can see his tools. This is, I love this partnership program because this is what he's got. He's able to work at home with Gwen. He's got a little wood stove over here, got a fan. It's nice and cool in here and tools. And that's where they're living is upstairs. And we're gonna try to come over here and spray foam his apartment when he's ready and get him all sealed up. But that's, you. Got, how's it been sleeping up there? Been really humid. Yeah. <laughs> You wake up wet, don't you? Oh, it's like ninety percent humidity. Oh my gosh! It's a little rough. Yeah, and we got a heat wave come through here. We oh. normally never to get hot till July, August, yeah. you know. It's but hot. but you can see he's hung from the trusses. He's hung his his uh, home right there yep. with chains, which I thought was cool. Put a little yeah, angle iron there to stiffen it up on a seam that he's got. Still work underneath it. Yeah, so there's no posts, so he can put all his lumber, nothing under here, and then you got. 
You said you're gonna have a kitchen or bathroom down here, right? Yeah, this actually, this section that's kind of a mess right now, it's gonna yep. be boxed off. And it's actually gonna be a small extra room, or it's gonna be our workout room right in the middle here. Oh yeah. A small bathroom next to it, and then a dog kennel in the back. Oh look, yeah, and you're gonna, you're gonna leave this open, you said for your tractor to come in and out or yep. something, right? This, this section will be dry, driven through, and then that hole over there will be walled off. Oh nice, and I love this. And dog fence put Man, off. this ain't nothing but fun. And you got your dog kennel in there, yep. and they get to go down into the bottom and then out in the pasture, right? Yep, yep. You got the, the horse barn coming along. Okay, yeah. So it'll be all path down to the horse barn, the goat barn. You know what? You're going to look back at this in <laughs> 10, 20 years from now, and it's like, uh, you're going to be like, man, that was fun doing that. It's, it's a lot of work all at once right now. Yeah. And it'll definitely pay off in the end. Yeah, well. It ran you know, metal all the way up. Yep. Oh, oh look no. at that. A couple reclaimed windows. That's, that triangle one is actually half of a double for in like those big ranch style houses where there's one on each side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gables. Yep. I turned it and put it up there. Beautiful, man. Picked it up for. Look at you. And we're going to have a walkout deck off of our bedroom. Oh, look at that. Door. Oh, my gosh. So we're going to keep it tiny, but it's going to be. Uh, yeah. Oh, man, that's awesome. Uh, look well, at that. We'll be living in a 30 by 10 house with a workout room, a deck, a full-size bathroom shower, and living room. And then downstairs you and get, yeah. Full out workout room. Nice. Second. Well, you guys lived in a tiny home and you know how to live. Oh, and, yeah. you, aw, and out of debt, no bills. Free, free and and building, I mean, you're living a dream, man. I, 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 you know, I complain sometimes. It's about 15 steps to work now, but... Yeah, so that's too little. far, and you got to commute 15 steps. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. God, this I just to me this is just living. This is taking. I don't. Know, I'm. I just happy. I just like it. I, I remember me starting out building, and I had to travel all over the city and places, and right. you know, and man, working from home is just so relaxing. There's nothing like being able to do construction and be. Living out. Yeah. There's no, not people I know of yeah. new construction at home. Yeah. And this partnership is it. Yep. Is what offers. That's why I was so excited yeah. when we started it. Yeah. Yep. Zach's always been, you could tell when I first met him that he's got an energy, he was going to make things happen, and he doesn't sit around. And, and um, it's exactly what's happened. He's done a, a marvelous job. He's, he won't say, but the character, his character has actually had people help him that want to help him because they see him doing what he's doing yeah. and your neighbor actually helped yeah. you out with this building. Yeah. Yeah. So Zach's, you find somebody who has got character and you know, you can build a future with people want to help you. That's true. Great, great guy. Came Aww. over to the excavator, had all the equipment. So, Hey, I want to help you build a barn. It's so out of the blue. He offered it. Aww. Came over, dug it all out with a big excavator and yeah. Yeah. Blessing beyond belief. So. Yeah. That's, Yep, you just put one foot forward and keep going. It'll happen, man. Yep. All right, Amanda, are you ready? I'm ready. Gwen, I didn't mean to ignore you. You're doing guy stuff, talking guy stuff. Oh, you guys are doing your thing. Hey, and you're from Michigan. Yep. And you used to be a dancer or instructor or something? No, we both taught dance. Oh, okay. Ten That's years. a long time. I took dancing and I taught dancing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, was it? What kind of dance was it? We did uh, all the performance-based stuff. Your tap, ballet, hip hop, acrobatics. So I'll so be. You see on like all the stages and stuff. Mm -hmm. the competition. Can you guys? You guys can still do it, right? Yeah, we still do all right. Oh we just actually got back from a wedding that we kind of got to have some fun and. Oh, you got the dance. dance a little bit after. A couple oh, that's of years. great. So. All right, I got to see him dance. Hey, I want to watch. I, we, you guys go dance for us. Yep, we got to do it. Amanda, <laughs> is that it right there? Yes. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> We're going to do a tiny home dance. A dance off. Dance off. There you go. Is that good? Can you see us? Yeah. All right. Good deal. All right. We're going to do our question, okay. comment stuff. And Where do you want me? You're good. Oh, you guys okay. can just rock on and we're good. Yep. So you're all set. We're all set. Cool. We'll try to keep the dogs out of here. Oh, you're fine. Oh, Thank fine. you, buddy. They're fine. I ah. love all the dogs. They're are. so great. They are the sweetest things. Look, look, man, I can't even see myself. Good. Hey, the sun is behind the clouds for a little bit. For a little bit. We're trying to we're trying to get it done before the sun comes. Is this all the question 
How much we have? Well, Alyssa went through them this morning and she was talking about that this was all of the questions because the majority of what we have is comments. Really? It's comments. We have we have hundreds of comments. Yeah, I did that live show the other day and it was 433 comments. Yeah. Oh, there's in, like over 700 on one and there was like one of them had close to a thousand. Ah, uh, that's it's cool. Just, it's wonderful. Good. Well, let's do the Q&A. Um, I guess I'll read a couple if you want to read a couple. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so, hey, oh, buddy. I'm going to run and go get us a water. Go do that. <laughs> this one says, Houston Moving House Houston, to... We have to, to lot video. Deborah Ann Sleffer, why can't you put the mini split underneath the home and have it connected after it's moved? If your home, if your home, it's it. going to be like two foot low off the ground. I can't see why your mini split can't go underneath your home instead of on the side of it or the ends of it. Okay, Amanda, I'm not sure what house she's talking about. Um, moving, Houston, moving house to lot video. So, there's a lot of nets around here. Um, the reason we hook everything up is because the house has got to leave. If you guys want to hook up your own mini split when it gets there, that's go ahead and put it anywhere you want. The only reason we mount it is because it's got to be transported down the highway, you know. So, uh, we've actually had one house to where we leave the, the line set sticking out on the side of the building, and then they wanted to set it on the ground. The house, the mini split doesn't go under the house, normally because if you're going to underpin it and skirt it, there won't be any airflow. But it's truly, we don't really care. If you want it under the house, on the house, or anywhere, we can leave the line set open, and you guys install it later. We don't have the capability if this and I'm just reading this, I don't really know, but if it's going to go on one of our lots, we still don't have the, the guys to go over to the resort or wherever it's at and then hook up the line set and the mini split and all that. We, we got to get it done in the factory. And then if we're doing it at a partnership here, then it all has to be installed, done, out the door and leaving because it's going to take a series of other men, other mm -hmm. people, other things to get done, which costs just more money. You know? And you know, this is our only partnership other than the Amish yeah partnership correct mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so this is the only one Tennessee and uh, Kentucky yep all right second question thank you Gwen Batsheba Saha mm. Gamoran Gamoran oh what a nice name that's beautiful no cement slabs question mark like what the what the how do you tie them down for them <laughs> hurricanes is the prairie land owned by you guys? Those lots aren't very big. My God, they're so small. I would never live there. She didn't put all that. What if you wanted to put in a hot tub outside, like one of those swimming holes? What the heck? Are we? No. Bleep, 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 bleep. She didn't say all that. Yep. But we do have two customers, two customers as of right now that have hot tubs on their lot. Yep. In the forest and on the beach. Yep, and you got a hot tub at home, and it doesn't have a slab. I, no, I don't have a slab. It's on sand. Put some sand down, and it's a blow-up okay. hot tub from uh, Walmart. Yeah. So it says, how do you tie them down? Where there are there, just like you do any mobile home or any other structure, they have mm -hmm. big augers that go down into the dirt. You don't have to have them on concrete and big loops and all that stuff. That's really more money, and if you got that kind of money, it'd be great. Yeah. Uh, but they do. You can tie them down without being a slab. Is the, is the prairie owned by you yes, guys? it's owned sure. by us guys. It is owned by us. So, and the reason we did that, we don't, you didn't subdivide. If you subdivide all that land, which we just didn't want to do it, it's an RV park. It's really, it's an RV park. The so mountain, is that what it's considered? Yeah, and the mountain is an RV park. It's a whole thing. The whole thing is an RV park, and that's why oh, we... Oh, even the mountain. Yep. Um, those lots aren't very big. That's where, if you don't think they're big enough, that's where, you know, it's not meant for you. You know, you buy land like they got. They got seven acres here. And eight acres. Eight mm -hmm. acres. And she said. Yeah. So, and if those aren't very big, our next lots are going to be half that size. Mm. You know, they're going to be 25 by 40. Right. So, anyway, and then what if you wanted a hot tub? Of course, you addressed that, right? Yeah. Like one of those swimming, swimming ones. Swimming hot tub? A swimming hot, I don't know what that is. I don't either. I'd like to see it. You mean like your own pool? That'd be awesome. 
on your lot. You can't put you can't put a pool. Hey, on the prairie, it's got. I mean, on the the beach, it's got concrete. Mm -hmm, but you can't put a pool. Well, unless you ask me and I get to go swimming in it. Okay. Well, it ain't big enough for a pool. So. Michelle Harper, three days ago, how on earth do you get underneath that thing to hook up the septic? Well, our houses are approximately, from the frame, is 20 inches off the ground. Okay. Yep. The in, So we jack them up where the wheels come off about two inches. Mm -hmm. We get under every one of them hook them up. But the only way is just you have to the good old lay down, get yeah. underneath there, and you just have like to do it. Just like a crawl space in a house. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Okay, Pam Hoots, Amanda and Randy, I am a subscriber, Hi, and I love your videos. I love nearly, nearly event house you've made. Oh, n love nearly every house every you've house made. Every house you've made. I love the fact that you're working with the Amish because their craftsmanship is unbelievable. Now I do have a question. Would it be possible to have two Incrediboxes on one lot? I am new to knitting, but have been crocheting for a year. This means I have... A lot of yarn so the incredible box will be for me and and the other for my yarn thanks for answering mm -hmm. yeah um right off the top of my head i don't see a problem with it um our, our thing is is you don't want to have two residents on a lot you don't want where you are going to live and somebody else is going to live there's only can be one family live on a lot but it would only be on a mountain you couldn't have two homes like in the prairie or two more like that. And really, they're selected lots. The lots on even on the mountain are really not that big of a footprint. So we really don't even know how that would work. And you're asking me a question I haven't really thought about. I'd love to say you two, um, man, here comes the sun. I know. And I know we've had that question uh, probably about a half a dozen times. Yeah that people have asked. I don't remember I that I know, question, and you don't have a hat. I took your hat. That's okay. How about I go get the umbrella and you take the hat? Man, is it going the, back? All the clouds just left. I know. Yeah. Here, you're um, going to have to have a hat. Let well, me go here, get I'll my get umbrella. It. I can, no, I'll get it. I'm going to read another question. All right. Misty C. Misty C. Amanda and Randy. Great locale, and thank you for answering my question. I had forgotten to also as this ask this question. On the giveaway home, is there enough room to put solar panels on a roof? How many is needed to run the home? Love you guys, Twisty Misty, from back in the days. Um, yeah, you still have surface area, especially with that uh, cupola that's gonna be on there. And then uh, you got the dormer, so yeah, you could probably put I'd say one, two, three, four, maybe six, and I think six would do it. But we'll have to get with salt with uh, with Lucas, it really depends on your consumption of what you're wanting to do with your solar. Like if you're gonna run a, again, you're gonna, your big, biggest consumers of energy is your air conditioner or heat. And if you, if you don't have that so much to work with, then you don't need as many uh, solar panels. But we do have different styles or different sizes of solar packages that you could use. Let's see, Jane Kinzig, hi. Amanda and Randy, I love your innovative homes. It is, is, it is it possible to put LP siding on ESP homes? Would you consider putting a mini split in the ESP homes? Now, yes, you can put LP siding on that. I've never, we haven't done it. We've used wood siding on it and you can fasten it on there. What I think I would probably do is we would put wood strips vertically and then put the LP siding um, horizontally. It depends on what you're going to do. Um, LP siding also comes in sheets, like four by eight sheets, so you can do board and batten. But yeah, you can fasten things, but you need adhesive and you need screws to put LP siding on it. Uh, yeah, I know. I was just thinking, you got you one. Yeah, there's and then there's that one too. I just found mine, but Zach had one too already. Okay, good. Good. good, good. I mean, it was completely, completely overcast shaded, yeah. when we got here. Exactly. Aww. Somebody just asked if they put LP siding on an ESP home. Well, I feel like we're actually doing one of those. Some, I, I don't know, maybe not. No. And I'm like, I didn't know that any of them yeah, had and, that. And, and if we do have one coming up, we'll just film that and let everybody see yeah, how sure. that's fastened to it. Because I know if you want to put LP siding or any kind of wood siding on there. Okay. Look at him. Oh, he's such a good boy. You want to read one of the questions? Yeah, let me read. Sure. 
Uh, where did you leave off? Right, start right there. Uh, let's see. Susan Beals, question. What cell phone providers get good service there at ITH? Um, AT&T and Verizon. And Verizon. Exactly. Yep. Uh, I'll be working there driving for Uber. Oh, that'll be nice when I move there to ITH next year. I use Verizon now for great coverage, but does Verizon have good service coverage out there? It does. Yep. Um, and she said maybe some residents could let me know. So, Susan Beals, we'll be looking for, forward to her coming yeah. and doing well, Uber. Well, you know, you got great cell, cell phone service coming down industrial um, road mm -hmm. until you get right, I mean, a half a mile or a couple hundred yards from our place, yeah. guys. <laughs> Limited. I mean, I've got one and two bars it's at the shop. It's very funny. He says that with his, but whenever I go through there, right off industrial, I never lose signal. And who's your provider? Uh, Verizon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But hmm. I don't have straight talk. It's a, a Verizon Now, plan. my phone always rings good. I mean, I get yeah. texts, I get calls mm -hmm. and all that, but it's but it's a weak signal. It's only like two bars. Okay. You know. uh, let's see. My Gypsy Adventure. I have a question regarding the new larger Incredibox, and what she's talking about is the 12 by 20. I thought in previous videos you stated it would be painted exterior only and do the skirting. However, in another video, I thought I heard you say the homeowner would be required to paint the exterior prior to placing it on the lot in Tiny Town. So I just wanted the clarification. And does the price include the exterior painting and skirting? Is what Good she's question. Asking. And mm -hmm. I have bounced back and forth. And that's a big I problem know, of mine is I get it, it. I get excited thinking I'm going to do this, do this, do this, and then when we start counting costs and what we're going to do, mm -hmm. can we? Do we have the manpower? Do we I have know. the money to do it and all that? Manpower is so, one of the biggest things. Yeah. So in the process of painting it, when we come down to it, we just don't have the we don't have the people to paint. We don't have the people. Yeah, and um, so. What I like to do is I dream out loud. Mm -hmm. I got an idea and I throw it out to you guys. That doesn't mean it's even going to happen. We may not even do the 12 by 20. You know, we may not even do the development. We don't mm -hmm. know yet. Um, so, but when we do, I will have a specific plan. I mean, you'll know right. exactly what your price includes. Right. You know, we'll do a contract. And we're it. about to do it because I'm actually about to decorate the 12 by 20 that's headed over there. Yeah. So there'll be a lot more information coming up about yep. the 12 by 20. Yeah. And the design's going to change mm -hmm. just a little bit from what we got. Yeah. Uh, Doug Falls, uh, in the 12 by 20 in credit box, what is the measurement from end wall to bedroom window cause, cause a DIY closet in bedroom would be a nice addition. 12 by 20, we can actually do that. You actually did the um, measurements yesterday on the Incredibox. But he's wanting them on the 12 by 20, For the 12 he? by 20, yeah. That one's, the sun's coming right through that, I know. I'm going to go through. I'm going to get this black one I've got. This is the, that ITH one that Smay's in. There and you where go. where does it say? Can you see it? It yep. says subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, so we can do a video on that. So the window from the from the back wall to the front window, and I, <clears> I'm trying to think right off the top of my head. I thought it was 30 inches, but I, I'm not for sure. Okay. And, yeah, depending on what size window you're gonna, what bed you're gonna have in there, and where you're gonna arrange it, you could put all kinds of different stuff in there. Mm -hmm. And we will give you those dimensions on the floor plan and what we come up with, so you can make adjustments for sure. And if you have any questions about the dimensions of the Incredibox, we did. Randy measured everything in the Incredibox yesterday. Yesterday, yeah. Every wall, every corner of the height, and everything on that. So, yep. uh, let's see. Um, my Gypsy Adventure again. Do you guys sell stickers of your ITH logo, the pickup truck, and the dog? If so, how do I get one? We've not, but we can. We used to, didn't we? Didn't we, we used to. We stickers? used to do stickers. I'd but love to get some. Yeah, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Write that down, man. We need. I will. Mental note. I will. I will. Got it. Um, Chris Create. Chris Create. How much would it be to have an Incredible Box delivered to Central Florida and hooked up to water and sewer? Okay. From what I heard, it used to be two dollars a mile, and man, I've heard it the guys has doubled. It is doubled. It's doubled. Um, <clears throat> they now, had to. I swear, if I were you guys, I'd come and get these incredible boxes because mm -hmm. they're under five thousand pounds. A half ton pickup can can come and pick it up, yeah. like a fifteen hundred, even a uh, an SUV can haul these. So I and, would. And two, we've got a video that's about to come up that you're going to see how easy it is to tow yeah. one of the Incredible Boxes. So yep. be, stay tuned for that because that's going to be coming up yep. too. But I would come get the mm -hmm. Incredible Box to save you some money. Absolutely. Uh, Kathleen Curtis, I well, something I want to add with that before we go to the next question. Yeah. If it were me, honestly, and I'm just going to be honest here, I would not do it myself, 
okay? A lot of people do, a lot of women do, a lot of men do, everything. Um, the only reason why they have the insurance, okay? Insurance is already on there. Your insurance may cover it as well, but they take care of all that for you. You don't have to worry about it. You pay them, they get it there to you, safe, sound, right. and everything. So, of course. I mean, you take a liability getting yourself. Not, you, take a, you take a liability. If you've never, if, you, if it's not the normal for you, but Randy's going to show you how simple they are to pull, to tow. Um, but Matt is literally, uh, we have never had one complaint about Matt. He's not had one issue. Not one issue. And all, he's hauled probably, what, four, five, six hundred homes or yeah, something? Yeah, and that's I don't know. Tiny House, uh, is it Tiny House Delivery Company? Yeah. Is Matt Heath. He is fantastic. Uh, I think him and his wife both do all the deliveries now. Uh, Jamie's his wife. And uh, they do a fantastic job. So yeah. um, I would... I would have somebody deliver mine. Yeah, I'd have Matt deliver awesome. mine. So I just want to put that out there. Um, Kathleen Curtis, I want the mountain, but are you only building the Incredibox? But you still are showing building the other houses. We've had some changes. I want the mountain, mm -hmm. but okay. But you're only showing the Incredibox. We do have models. Man, okay. So what we're doing is Incrediboxes mm -hmm. and we're doing model homes. And uh, we show the other homes to show our quality, what we're doing. And there are homes that people are watching on here that watch their home being built. Right. And they're curious and they want to see it. So we show our quality of builds and then what's going on and what we do. We've changed our line. Of course, as you guys know, we don't do customs anymore. Mm -hmm. But we have our, our model line. And if you go on our website, you guys can see all the models that we're building. And I cannot wait until this yeah. is going to be, I think Zach, this is a model. Zach will be the first model. This is the Abington that's here. Yep. And this will be the first model that's done. I cannot wait till everyone sees the models and, you know, some of them that's being built. The Birmingham, the Lexington, Charleston, all these houses. Yeah. Because you are not going to feel like you're in a model. You are going to feel like it was a custom built home for you. Yeah. You really are. We just can't wait till you get that big ta-da of it because you're really going to feel that way. It's hard when one's not been built. We're yeah. set, we are still selling them. We've sold, I don't know, 10 or 12 Birminghams and yeah. different. They're the $100,000 homes, and yeah. we've sold about 10 of them. Oh, my God. They're fantastic. You just wait until, you know, this one, this is going to be your little storybook cottage one. This is the one Love that's going to have here. all the cutesy stuff, and it's one level. Yep. This one's one level. So, very attractive. Well, I, I would get a one level house. Well, you know, Sam called me yesterday. And a lady was talking about, she goes, my God, she goes, how can anybody buy, you know, one of your homes mm -hmm. and you don't have one to look at? And yeah. said, well, I understand that. And we, and I understand it of too. Of course. We just don't have the time or the money to do it. Yeah. And we're, so we're building mm -hmm. as they come in. And he said, well, ma'am, let me explain a little bit to you. And he walked her through it yeah. and showed her the print. And she said, okay. Two days later, yeah. called up and said, I'll take that house. I'll take one. Yeah. Because yeah. he said, I'll take a go pen. shop around and take that blueprint yeah. and the design and compare it to anybody else in the country, the prices that mm -hmm. you got. And then look at all the amenities that come with that home. Yeah. It's painted inside and inside. Mm -hmm. It's got polyurethane trim and ceilings. It's amazing. And then the outside's got LP siding all mm -hmm. over it, farm style sink, butcher block tops, right. custom cabinets that we buy. You know, yeah. all that stuff is just, um, it's just... You know, and you have the options, too. You have with dormers and without dormers. And yeah, when you do it to without, cut the price down. And when you do it without dormers, it cuts the price. And you have that option. Most of the people live on the main floor. The majority of everybody yeah. lives on the main floor. So if you really need to cut costs there and you want one of the houses and it feels like a custom home, get it without dormers. Right. You And you can always, and I know Randy will talk about this, too. You can always add to your homes. Any time when you have the little extra money or you save up for it as you go, just like Gwen and Zach are doing here, you save as you go and do yeah. what you can, you know. Yeah, add the porch and add, add the covered the porch to it. You don't have things. to have the whole shoot and match, mm -hmm. the whole thing all but at this, one time. But our models come done. All That's you have to do is put your furniture yes. in. Yes. You don't have to sand, you don't have to paint, Nothing. you don't have to no, there's no DIY no. whatsoever. It's a turnkey. Exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Now, this is going to June 9th video because Alyssa puts down all the videos that this was connected to that was for a uh, six uh, let's see what day was that well, I can't remember uh, this one is six nine the video uh, the Incredibox assembly line okay. was the video we did oh yeah uh, Terry M great video love it Randy what breed of dog is ace he is a wired haired Griffon okay yep great dog um, and does he shed no no he does not and the only reason we got him uh, groomed was because 
He got burrs in them so thick I couldn't They're I couldn't matted. I couldn't get them out. The yeah. burrs were so thick on him. And you know what? I'm glad I did. Be, even though he doesn't look as kind of yeah uh, Griffon. He, uh, this is his summer look. The heat, man, yeah. is he's so much better. He's actually, right now, he's in the shade underneath the truck. Mm -hmm. He don't want anything to do with this heat. No, he doesn't. He's ready to get in that truck. He wants in that truck is what he wants. Uh, and what what is your opinion about Ace being a good watchdog? He is. Mm, mm, I'm going to go, mm. He's a little on the lazy side. He's a little lazy. Yep. I didn't want to say it, but he's a little lazy. Yeah, at night, if he hears something, he sleeps through it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And my two dogs, the Double Doodle and Phil, who's like a, a <clears throat> I feel like he's a wolf mix. I don't know what he is, a mix. Um, Joe was the best watchdog ever. He could hear a car uh, literally a quarter of a mile away and would start barking that somebody was coming up yeah. the road and stuff. And he was a Double Doodle. I mean, he was a Golden Doodle. I don't know what. He had yeah. great sense, and he was a great friendly dog, great for kids. But the watch, he was a watchdog beyond watchdogs. Yeah, and Ace is, I'm telling you, Ace, okay, well, since I've gotten him, mm -hmm. he never chewed on on mm -hmm. anything in the house. Yeah. He's never run off. No. We got the gate open at the at the shop. Yeah. He, he never goes out on the main road. He don't. He doesn't run off anywhere. No. Um, I took him to rest areas on a long trip. He would get out of the truck and wait for me to so walk. he traveled well. He travels well. He won't run off. He's got all these dogs and animals around here. He has nothing to do with them. He'll fool around with them a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. He's a homebody. He mm -hmm. absolutely is by my feet all the time. Yeah. But a watchdog, if, listen, if you two are sleeping good in a bed, he ain't getting up. <laughs> he, you'll no. get up before he will. He ain't going to get out of an air-conditioned truck. He's over there looking at staring at us like, yeah. are you guys going to get done or He's what? He's in the side-by-side -side with Tim, you know, like he always runs around with Tim at the shop. He ain't getting out of that side-by-side. Mm, no. So he's just a little stubborn, so, too. So, if you want protection, I'd go with a different breeder. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, Sandy Johnson. Hey, Sandy. Uh, who will replace high school boys at the end of summer? That's a great oh question. Oh, my God. I was Hope thinking about that this morning. Crew. They won't be there long. I was thinking about that this morning. I know. They are being mm -hmm. so efficient. They're so great. I love them. They'll do whatever you ask. I know. They uh. want to know what to do. Well, so. we are hiring. If you got somebody who can work. We're hiring. We're mm -hmm. actually putting on a whole nother line because if we do the 12 by 20s, yeah. we're not stopping building credit boxes. They're going. Mm -hmm. And we're actually building the other houses that are in the, in the, in the Thunderdome. Yeah. And then when those are done, those ESPs are done, then we're probably going to put a 12 by 20 assembly line in there. <laughs> yeah. This looks like the Wishbone Dog. Did y'all used to watch the show Wishbone or did your kids? My kids watched Wishbone. He encouraged reading. Yeah. And the kids watched Wishbone. And uh, he's pretty. He looks like a Wishbone Dog. Whatever kind of dog he was. Okay. Ryan Simmons. I don't know. Ryan Simmons. What's the overall weight? Now, this is talking about the Incredible. Okay. Uh, is it more cost effective to have one shipped or head uh, to head down to Maine from a... My gosh. Is it more cost effective to have one shipped or to head down from Maine and haul back? That's... Okay. Man, they're getting $4 a mile, buddy. So, if you can check out your mileage and what you get... They're under, they're about five, under 5,000 pounds. They wow. pull really well because mm -hmm. they're aerodynamic. Yeah. I think it's a, we had a couple yesterday that looked and they said, wow, this is a great RV. Way bigger than you get in an RV, the, the volume inside. Yeah. But um, Matt, Maine. Matt loves pulling these houses. He said they're so easy. So Maine is what? 1,200? Long way. 12, maybe 1,200 miles and away, I think. Uh, Will and Becky's from Maine? Yeah, mm -hmm. I haven't. I don't know how far it is. Maybe it's 13, 1,400 miles away, depending on what part of Maine you're in. Yeah. But it's $4 a mile one way to haul it up, have it hauled. And listen, uh, Ryan, you need to just come pick it up because you can bring some lobster. Ryan said, I'll reach out closer to the end of lobster season, I suppose. Ah! There you go. Maybe Perfect. you can bring us some stuff. Let's see if you've got that would be on. great. You want to do that, Paige? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here we got uh, Lucy Morgan. What Hi, does, Lucy. What does the base name. home cost? Okay, so we got eight nine different models of base home mm -hmm. and um they're on our website you can look go on there and look at that i think our our smallest base house is right up forty thousand dollars now that's the lp siding the painted inside mm -hmm. it's turnkey it's a beautiful home i think it's eight by twenty yeah you go look at that if you like that's our smallest actually just sold one stick built stick built house mm -hmm. right and then of course our credit box is twenty thousand dollars east coast life question how long do you believe one of those in credit box would last somebody 
you know without falling apart? Yep, good question. The, uh, the panels are steel. They don't, they're not rusted. They're, they're a galvanized steel. They're massively waterproof. There's hardly any maintenance on them. The one, I can answer this specifically because the company that we buy our panels from, they have building sheds, they were building sheds, and they started it about 25 years ago. Those exact sheds are still in a driving distance from me, mm -hmm. and I've passed the same shed up for 25 years. Right. It looks like the day they bought it. Right. So it's, and, and they didn't even have a metal roof on it. It had the panel roof. What would what would even tear them up or make them fall? I mean, what would a other, bulldozer, or a I mean, hurricane? Yeah, it's like something like a. I mean, it, I don't know what's going what to deteriorate it steel. Yeah, you know, it's. Steel. I mean, unless you run salt on it and run it through a highway and all that kind of stuff, but no, it's just massive. You know, it's it's what like do you mean rub salt on it. What does that mean? Well, I seen that truck standing there. You know, trucks break down when they live. You guys, anybody up north, they use salt on the roads. We don't oh, use salt well, down I see. here. I see. What you're and it's going to rust down. Yeah. Well, a house is sitting out in a pasture or on a lot or whatever, and it's there's, there's no reason for it to. Nothing tear it up. I don't know what's going to deteriorate it. I'm don't sure. Don't have kids. A couple hundred years, it might. <laughs> kids will tear up everything. Yeah, and the UV rays are protected. Uh, the foam are is protected. You got a yeah. metal roof, vinyl mm -hmm. windows. And metal roof, metal siding. Yeah. They're, that's why I love these homes so well, much. Well, I mean, look at the the 1950s trailers and stuff. Lord, they're still standing. <laughs> you know, it's it's just metal, isn't it? It's yeah, aluminum, metal, aluminum, whatever. Metal, yeah. Aluminum, yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Yep. You know, they're going to get dirty and you pressure course. wash them. Down. You got to clean them. The, the worst thing, Amanda, for a house is water. Yeah. It'll actually, it'll right. just deteriorate a house. Yeah. But there's no studs in this wall. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times, all your old mobile homes, yeah. if they leak around a window, right? Anything mm -hmm. is perforated. Yeah. They're going to leak around a window or a door. And what happens is it leaks around the, the base of the door mm -hmm. or the windows, gets in, rots the, yeah. the, the studs, the subfloor. This has no wood. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's no wood in the walls. No, there's not. All right. I love it. I Huge two-story, two-bedroom video. Andrea Sheehan, the oh, bathroom. Yes, this was a Ron and Alice. Ron and Alice, yeah. yep. Mm -hmm. The bathroom upstairs is a cool idea. Could an upstairs like that be made with hydraulics for traveling? Mm -hmm. I recalled you did that some someone before. Mm -hmm. Wonder why that wonder why that light fixture not aligned over the sink in the bathroom. Don't know. I don't know, I'm trying to remember. The bathroom upstairs? The bathroom downstairs. Over the sink. Oh, it had to be downstairs in the sink. That they're going to put a, a, I think, a different kind of light on there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. There's a lot going on in that. Bathroom. But we did, yeah, we did a, uh, we did a, not a hydraulic. We did a pneumatic raised roof in a week. Yeah. In a, it was in a week. In when a week we did it. It was in a, it was our workshop. Yep. Incredible Tiny Homes University. Remember we called it that at first. Sure did. Yep. I T H U. The reason this is two stories is because it's permanently on our land. We've had yeah. to, guys, again, that's why we've had to choose our fight and in our industry. Do we continue to do customs or do we yes. do models? And the, the customs at the rate that we're going to build and, and how we're trying to, you know, just build them and the, 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 the men that you have, the quality mm -hmm. of craftsmen is limited to certain things. So we've had to change our models line to be able to train guys in certain tasks that they perform better at these tasks. It's just the same thing. I never wanted to go to a um, assembly line or a model. I never did. Never thought But about I've it. learned that the clientele that we work with, it is the majority of men, the yeah. majority of people working for us love to do the same thing. Well, I'm going to tell you this. Randy would not have done a uh, Incredibox ha if you wasn't going to get a unbelievable product. It's right. going to turn out so beautiful just like it was a custom home. Otherwise, he wouldn't have done it. He right. was not going to do some box-looking, cheap, uh, just standard-looking something just so, you know, we can get the houses out and the guys are good and oh, make no. a profit. These are going to be, these are custom homes. Yeah, so just it's like produced. the Amish. Everybody's like, I got to come back here and work with, with Zach. Uh, Zach. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a couple years of me just mm -hmm. working with these guys on these model yeah. homes. It's not a cookie cutter. No. There's all these corbel designs, you know, mm -hmm. the brackets, the, the faux rafters, the overhangs, the interiors. That cupola is it's probably going to drive me nuts. Yeah. But it looks so amazing. And what I like about this, it's given us a foundation, 
right? Of the of the mm -hmm. models. And then I like I want to come out with a new model. Yeah. Every so often. That's going to be fun. And we'll tweak it and that's what's going to cause to look like we're doing mm -hmm. customs, but it looks like everybody customs. to keep to keep our prices down and to sell you a mm -hmm. home that's a lot less than the competitors, we have to do this. It, we have found that it has been such a financial struggle for us to even make a living doing custom homes. And the amount of stress is off the charts. And you guys, if you've never built anything custom, anything, it's like you doing a quilt for somebody. And they say, I want the stitching this color, but no, take it and we'll put it around here. And I want it this and that. And you're building And I don't want it square. I wanted it to be oval. And I yeah, wanted it and to I changed be my mind. And that's, this is not right because I wanted it here and there. And it's so hard to transfer information mm -hmm. out of your mind onto, onto our piece of paper. And it's just, well, we've done eight, nine hundred of them, all right? Mm -hmm. Customs. And we've done them. If not more. I'd say we're over a thousand. Yeah, and I'm just like, you know what? It's too hard. Yeah. And so we hope to be successful. I think we are. We've sold almost mm -hmm. 40. Mm -hmm. Model homes without even having a model to look without, at. Yeah, exactly. You and know? when you get your house, you're going to feel like, I mean, it is a custom home. It's just going to be replicated. Um, on the two-story house, this is Barber Street. Very nice. Great workmanship there. Now that, now that would be one I would want. Question, where does the washer and dryer go? I must have missed it. Where's your washer and dryer? Mm -hmm. is on which spot? one? Oh, it's in the back bathroom. In the back corner. So if you're coming in the back bathroom, it's right to the left. Oh, Ron and Alex. It's a stackable. Yes. <clears throat> yep. Um, Michelle Hooman. Oh my gosh, that would look awesome on the mountain. I do. I believe that too. I believe I just found a new floor plan. Would <laughs> you guys build another one if the price was right? I mean, we'll do custom, but there we got to add the price to it. It's it's very selective. It's very selective. We because got we're limited. two, three builders that could do it. Yeah. Um, now remember, on that house, there are a couple things that you might want to change that bedroom, going into the bedroom, um, it going into the bedroom, when that bed gets on there, we'll, we'll, Ron and Ellis, they'll let us come They're back and do a final back and tour. video. There's a couple little things I would tweak, but yeah, it is a gorgeous mm -hmm. home. Uh, send a Sue. Wow. This is my favorite tiny home. Isn't that cool? I could live in it very comfortably. Will you make this available and how much would it be? Uh, Again, we could listen. We could do a spin off, and it could be the new model coming up. Yeah. So, now, if enough people love it, and if it's a two story on the mountain, is where it would go. Two story, listen, two story, two baths. We get unbelievable views yeah. when we put that in a tile. And you know, if we have a lot of people wanting a two story home, you know, I don't care to maybe incorporate it into our model line. Sure, that's what mm -hmm. we're trying to do. We don't, you know, we don't know everything. We're we like to grow. Incredible swat saves lives this is uh, a video. This, yeah this was funny. donna hoffman wednesday question randy can you give us an update on how you were feeling post-surgery yes i'll tell you so i have not really felt any benefits from and it's not a surgery it was a stem cell and so i've got stem cell umbilical stem cell not just adipose fat or bone marrow mm -hmm. it was actually umbilical cord in my shoulders knees and back um, I feel a little bit in my knees. I walk better. It's not as hard. So, yeah, I, I probably got 15, 20% better. My shoulder feels better. I can only raise my shoulder to here. Now it's to here. There's still, you know, some discomfort and pain. My biggest thing is behind my knee. I've got a brace on right now on this knee. Behind my knee is called a uh, baker's cyst. So it's not like a pussy cyst. But behind my knee, because of the arthritis, um, the docs told me it's really prevalent in knee arthritis mm -hmm. that there's tendon and the muscle gets inflamed and it has been a pain in the rear because I got back I was feeling better and then I was doing my therapy and this Baker cyst will not allow me to bend down it's just swollen behind so I've got a I got pressure on it I ice it and it's just frustrating as can be yeah so um, I'm not supposed to really feel any benefits in my joints probably for about six months you know but thanks for asking for it's sure hard, it's hard to be patient it is because man i feel amazing He's ready to everything move. about me i'm ready to climb mount everest yeah. i feel good physically mentally my blood work come back i'm like blood work was amazing my triglycerides were amazing my vitamins everything was just spot on psa all that stuff and so many people deal with the mobility uh, with arthritis and different things like that they say, my God, I remember your dad saying, I feel like I'm 18 years old in my head, but my body just won't go. Yeah. And that we used to feel so bad for him that he wanted to do things. He wanted to go. You just couldn't go. Yeah. So, 
but it's good that you're getting all this treatment to hopefully, hopefully help Hopefully, I, I want to do it naturally if I can, you know. Mm -hmm. um, Florence Plyler, what is the R factor for the metal foam board and can it be used to insulate a container? So the metal panels are, um, it's R7 per inch, so it's an R14. So it's, you know, again, I've, I've said this before, I think in a couple of videos, it's hard to take a fiberglass bat and then compare it to a spray foam because there's actually air infiltration around a fiberglass bat around the two befores and all this stuff. These are airtight and it, it allows for a better R value other than just the technical seven um, R factors per inch. So it's, it's, it's even more, ef more efficient than a bat. But yeah, for a container, it might work well. Uh, the reason we don't use them inside is because we have to run plumbing and wiring. So that's why we frame up our walls inside of a container home and we run all of our wiring, our lights and all our, you know, our utilities inside the house. And if you use these panels, you can't. But if you have uh, other, um, something else you want to do. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're going to move into a container, you would have to use those panels and completely encompass like a cooler inside the container because no air can get out. As soon as it does outside these, your foam, you're going to get condensation. It's going to mm. drip. So any hole, anything, we have spray foamed a container. Now we put about an inch coating on it yeah. before we stud it. I've seen that. If we miss just a quarter size metal piece that the metal is showing, that metal will condensate and drip, drip in the house is a nightmare yeah absolutely See, we have learned that you I, sp I spray foam the whole house so if you're going to buy a container home from somebody i highly recommend that the whole house they show you pictures that that house was spray foamed before they framed it okay because if you fr if you frame a house and you set you inside a container you set that framing against the metal that could possibly be mm -hmm. avoid so be bare spots for yeah yeah for condensation mm -hmm. That is awesome. We're done. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I want to tell everybody how much I appreciate that whenever you go into the comments, um, you put question at the very first of your, your comment. Oh, yeah. So it's easier for us to find because I know that we're missing some people. Sometimes it's hard for us to, to catch everybody over the days of the, the comments. But they put up there at the top, they'll put question for uh, Q&A Wednesday. So that's very nice. Thank you for doing that. And I cannot express enough how much we are thankful for the comments that you said there's so many I, I wish i could just sit here and read them but I there's like the hundreds show. and hundreds of comments and they absolutely love the smack on saturday yeah. the swat it was the swat i posted that but randy was going to drink a water that was just laying around in the shop well it had a lid on it oh he's gross he's so gross he's such a boy i got strong antibodies man Ugh. okay what well, do anyway yeah. But anyway, thank you all so much for participating. This is episode number 12, I think. Really? Episode number 12. And I want to thank uh, Gwen and Zach. We're on location at their property. Mm -hmm. uh, just not far from the shop, about 30 minutes They from live the shop. in a little place called Del Rio, okay. Tennessee. Okay. It's beautiful out here. Yeah. And they're doing a really great job. They're working together. And uh, that's just cool. They're yeah. just making it together. A young couple like that. Yep. So. Uh, very proud of them. That's that's nice. That's an American dream right it there, is. isn't it? It is. So, yeah. But thank you all. Are you got anything else to add? You know, we're building. We're building a business. We're building an industry. We're building this stuff. It's we don't have investors. We don't have bank loans. We don't have anything. We have to make it on our own. That's why we work so much. That's why everything we do, we protect. Um, that's why when we make decisions, we have to we have to think these through. And that's why we have to, a lot of times, you know, somebody said, hey, how come we can't get to your office? Mm -hmm. It's because we've had so many people come to our office and we've had to get organized because we, we got so much work to do. Mm -hmm. We have to be organized. It's not just like building in the backyard anymore, right. you know? No, it's not. And two, you know, our, when you come into the gate, uh, the reason why we don't allow people to come down there anymore, I've already been to the tire place four times in the past two months so yeah so i don't even pull down at the office anymore because i keep getting a flat tire there's nails there's there's risk uh we have a policy that we just implemented yesterday 
if you are on the property and you're an employee, you are to have um, eyewear, protective eyewear on at all times. All the time. We've had too many people. I had something get in my eye. We've had a couple of the guys get stuff in their eye. They had to go get it taken out. Uh, we don't want to take this chance anymore. The guy that uh, actually, it happened yesterday again, uh, he was on break and something got in his eye. It's like, you know what? We're done. So it's protective eyewear. It is a active job site. It is a build site. You will get hurt. We've got people that's coming in. If you're trying to sneak Fort in. Forklifts going everywhere. Forklifts going. Do not do it. You, you cannot come on the property where the big buildings are and where we build. We're not doing that, saying that to be mean. It's to protect everyone. Uh, the girls are not allowed. If they go out on break and they're out back sitting on the deck, everybody's got to have their eyewear on. Yep. So either that or go to your car. So yeah. we hate to be harsh, but we got to protect people. We got a lot of people there. There's high school boys. Yep. I, could you imagine us feeling like they lose an eye or yep. can't see? Uh, we got to protect everyone. So. Yep. And as much as we would yeah. like to have things going on, it's just it's not uh, a showroom. No, and I like building homes. I'm a home yeah. builder, and I love building these things. Yeah. And um, and the way that we're doing our best, and I feel like they're doing a fantastic job is a uh, Twyla and um, uh, pa um, what's, oh my God, Paula and um, what's the new lady? Oh my gosh. Amy. Amy and Amy. Those three are touring people. They're volunteers. They are, vo they are driving people into the forest, the beach, and to the prairie and telling them all about the homes and showing you the homes on the sales lot. So there is homes that you get to tour. That's as far as you need to go. Uh, everything else we show yeah. on the video. Everything else is Everything Crazy. else, they're doing a I know people like to see these things being manufactured, but we're not, well, we're not would, ready for it. Yeah. We need a plexiglass. Safety, yeah. Hallway. Yeah. Amanda, you've got to have stress in your life. Oh, believe me. There is, if I you don't, it. you've got to have stress. I got stress. Now, they're saying, okay, there's bad stress. Yeah, there's stress. It's going to mm -hmm. restrict your cardiovascular diet or whatever. You've got to have stress. you got to be challenged. you got to have, you got to have fear. you got to have all this stuff to make you alive and get you going, and then it makes your mind figure out how can I not have it and how right. can I navigate this and how can I still be a benefit on this earth mm -hmm, right you know? right I mean as you guys can see I'm pretty passionate about this mm -hmm. and I'm passionate about living and having a purpose and having a desire because if you don't it is dead yeah life there's no point yeah so mm -hmm. okay back to the question about it I'm gonna sell out for forty two hundred billion dollars uh, well, that's a pretty big number. We might so, go on yeah, that we one. might go on that one. Yeah, yeah a billion. <laughs> if you come at me with a B, I'm out of there. Yeah. <laughs> it's like mm, a B. That's come on. You would do it too. So and everybody, have you seen a us? A B. We're anyway. You know who we are. I don't. We're, need to you know who that. we're going. We're going back to work. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going back to work. We I didn't sitting... get me a new pair of boots so. Oh, good. Got me a pair of George boots. Yeah. That was a. That's that's like exciting. You know. It is exciting, especially when your feet hurt. And they fit. This morning. Oh yeah. Put them on like a slipper. Fits like a glove. What on oh, no, the mat? Isn't that what he said? Oh, um, fits like a glove. Fits like a glove. Remember he parked that car in there. <laughs> Jim Carrey. <laughs> yeah. Remember the boys used to watch that all the time. At fits Ace like Ventura. Fits like a glove. Gosh. Oh my gosh. Thank you all for watching. I know you're today. burning up. Her legs are on fire. I got, look at my legs are like, but it's okay. I as long as I keep it off my face. Yeah, and you're getting hot here. too. It is hot here. We today. had listen. We picked the perfect spot. Perfect little backdrop for you here. Yeah. Little shady spot. Oh, yeah, no. It's mm -mm. okay. Good. All Everybody, right. thank you for watching. Thank Subscribe you for watching. if you will. Yeah. And we'll be back tomorrow. We got a big yeah. day tomorrow, we'll too. We'll be back tomorrow. Thursday. Yeah. Look at Ace. He's under the truck and he is like, show him. Let's see here. <laughs> now, this phone, I can't believe the phone haven't shut down. I know. It's in the dead sun. I know. Thank There's you all Ace. so much. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Zach and Gwen, again for letting us come. East Tennessee, everybody. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at those beautiful mountains. You can't beat East Tennessee. Bye.